Hello everybody, happy October 1st. That's today. I don't know if you'll be seeing this on October 1st, probably not, but if you've watched any of my videos, I have a lot of concrete statues that I have painted. And so sometimes people ask me on some of those videos um, about the painting process. So I'm gonna do that today. I have here a family of different types of mushrooms for some gnome areas we're gonna do. And we're gonna paint all these. I'm gonna show you how to do it. But the first thing to do when you're painting concrete statues, get you some paint. This is black paint. Everything gets painted black first before you do the actual colors that you're gonna do in the end. That helps everything to um, stay really well on the statue. So you paint it all black first. And you'll notice these aren't bright white because I've already wet them. I pour some water on them and you can use a water hose. Get them wet because that helps to absorb this black paint. And then it's a completely different technique when you're actually um, doing the real painting. So first, we're just gonna smack some black paint on here. I've already shook this up because I hadn't used it in forever because I've been meaning to paint these for <clears throat> a long time. All the paint we're gonna use for everything is exterior paint. The um, 100% acrylic latex exterior paint. So that's what you want for all your painting. Got a new brush. I don't like new brushes because they're gonna get bristles everywhere as I paint, but who cares? I'm good. All right. I like to put them on this here cardboard so I can move it around as I go. I'm just gonna doop, 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 doop. I don't care if I get stuff on me. This is uh, this type of paint here. Comes right off. Look at that. Glob it on there. Look at it. Glob it. Don't have to be neat. You don't have to be an artist. I'm not an artist. Just got to paint it on there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because remember, this is just a base coat that you're not even going to see. I go through phases where I paint a bunch of these. But uh, my spirit was destroyed last time. I painted one of my uh, dragons, and I love that dragon. The way it turned out it was one of my favorite all times. I had just finished telling somebody that, and Gus ran over, knocked the dragon over, and broke part of its uh, wing tip off. And it just so much work. Painted a bunch of statues, and my favorite one got destroyed. So it's been a while since I painted them. But we went to Concrete Garden, which is at the uh, flea market in Columbia, South Carolina. The Barnyard Flea Market. Shout out to Glenn at Concrete um, Garden. I hope I said the name of his place right, Concrete Garden. I, I get it wrong sometimes. But my wife came with me. We're going to the zoo, I believe. And she saw some gnomes. So that's what we're going to put with these. In the retaining wall flower bed. That's what you want to do all over. Here we go. Notice how perfection, I'm worried about perfection here, except I'm not. I'm just doing this. Like Brad Pitt says in that one movie, with that Quentin Tarantino movie. It's all right. That's how you do it. It's good. It's a good job you're doing. Boop -a -doo, ba -doo -ba -doo. Yeah, I should have done this months ago. Doesn't take long at all. We've been really busy with other stuff, though. That garden this year was a big undertaking. Then in August, we go on vacation. So all that kind of gets put down to the wayside for a while. And these just got left behind.
right all right looking good here it's not bad one down two to go get another cardboard You're going to destroy these brushes. Get the ones that cost a dollar, 50 cent at Home Depot and Lowe's and just go through them one after another. You can use them for a long time, but they're gonna be destroyed each time. As you keep doing, you're gonna lose bristles. They're gonna get shorter and shorter, etc. That's okay. You're just smooshing in there. You wanna get in there, smoosh it in. Grr. let those dry and then it's on to part two painting them to look pretty 